lot of people like to use the metaphor um, of a game for life or existence or whatever. Um, that's an interesting but ambiguous metaphor because it could mean one of two things. Game, you play a game either to win the game or you play a game for the sheer joy of playing it. Um, when um, you know you go out for a game of hockey on the rink here, you generally you want to you want to win, but some people just say, "Oh, I do it for exercise or whatever." Um, but you know, a professional athlete, that person wants to win. They're not just doing it for the heck of it, although they may enjoy it. But ultimately, there is a goal. Um, but there are those who play games just because they're fun. Um, a friend of mine, his daughter, loves playing Crazy Eights whenever I go over to visit him. We play Crazy Eights. We never keep score. Nobody's paying attention. There's no lumberman's count of who's winning or who's losing. We can play Crazy Eights for an hour. You know, How many hands would that be? 20, 30 hands of Crazy Eights? Nobody has a clue at the end of the day who won or who outpaced the other person. It's just for the heck of it, just for fun. So, you know, the game, the dynamic of games are, are quite... It's not, it's not just one thing, a game. Um, the Janes seem to think that if life is a game, then it's an onerous game, and the only, thing, the only reasonable goal is to win the game of life by getting out of here. There's really, at the end of the day, nothing to be learned from our existence here. we just got to get out. Um, there's another side to that coin, though, in India. There's the phenomenon of... I think it's pronounced Lila, although... I've heard it pronounced Lila a lot, L-I-L-A, where it, the universe is simply nothing but a big playground created by God and for the beings that he loves, us. Uh, Krishna, uh, Vishnu comes to mind. Um, Vishnu is the main god that's associated with the idea of Lila. It's just, you know, sort of Dante's divine play, uh, just a bit of fun, really. At the end of the day, what do I take it all seriously? We're all headed for the same destination. Um, the people who worship Krishna in his form as the great game master say, well, yeah, it's just for fun because we're eventually going to be right back into the bosom of Krishna once we die or whatever. So there's two complete polarities here. The game is nothing but fun, regardless of how much horror we might see in it. Um, that's just our limited human perception, or it is just a big horror, and the only reasonable thing to do is to get out of here. Indian philosophy has both polarities covered. Uh, Western philosophy does as well, I suppose. You know, we have the negative ones like Schopenhauer or whatever, but then, you know, you get people like, you know, Albert Camus with the myth of Sisyphus, where he shows even a completely futile, pointless game. Um, where he has a goal that he has to do, but he, you know, he'll just have to do it again. He has to roll the boulder up the hill, and it rolls back down by its own. Then he has to go back down, get it, and roll it back up again. Well, Camus um, posits the view that it's entirely possible that Sisyphus up there, in the wherever he is in the ether, rolling his rock, is having a lot of fun. I'm not saying that I'm completely convinced by that, but uh, it's just as possible as thinking that that existence is horrible. Uh, both are contained in the reality that is reality. Um, my view of riding the tiger is just another interpretation of that. Um, you could say that my version of life is a game of, I don't know, um, a speed game where you just want the rush of um, the adrenaline rush that comes with new experiences. I wouldn't say that I go for adrenaline, certainly not, but you know, I go for some kind of mental, emotional, or physical rush from my life. Um, I want experiences. I want to to do things that, you know, give me uh, a good feeling about life, give me a wonderful feeling about myself, etc. Um, that's just my way. I'm not saying it's for everybody. Some people just say, okay, well, it's best not to be too attached to this world because it's all temporary, etc. I get that. The point I'm trying to make is, um, if we talk about life as a game, um, that is an ambiguous thing to say, um, because 
One version is it's a goals-oriented game. It's a score-oriented game. Other people say it's an enjoyment-oriented game. Which is it? Who decides? <laughs> well, I would say that each individual decides his or herself. Uh, India's got all bases covered, it would seem, or Indian philosophy. Um, the, um, the, the phenomenon of Leela, which is quite popular, actually, in Hindu thought, essentially says, don't worry about it. Um, life is kind of absurd, so um, why get too worked up about the details when it's all going to be over soon enough and we'll be back where we came from, wherever that is, presumably God. Um, my view is, I don't know where I came from, I don't know where I'm going, i.e., I don't know where my consciousness bubbled up from, I don't know where my consciousness goes after I die. Um, but in the meantime, there's an awful lot of neat things to do here in life. Um, there's a, a discipline for that in, in India as well. 